Hello. Hi. Lou and Kate here again. We want to talk to you about crystallised resin. If it's not one of the most popular questions we're asked, then I don't know what is. So we're going to show you. Crystallised resin can happen, it's normal and it's nothing to worry about, okay? So what happens is it gets cold over time or perhaps it's been left stood still for a while or you've not used it for a while. It just hardens into a solid white lump if left long enough. It's a little bit like, do you think honey in the jar when yeah. that crystallises? Yep, so if definitely. you've got a jar of honey, runny it's honey. runny honey that is no longer runny. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so it can look really, really solid in the um, block, like lots of white crystals, okay. You'll see it through the pot as well, completely normal, don't worry about it, okay. So all we're going, all we're going to do is you're going to boil your kettle. If it's the winter months, you could stand a nice clean bottle on your radiators at home for 20 minutes. Um, I tend to make my bottles really messy mm. so I don't do that I'll just get myself an old jug this has got some hot water the kettle's just boiled um, hot water and I'm gonna stand the bottle in the hot water a bottle this size would be for a good 10 20 minutes you might even need to repeat the process twice if it's particularly affected um, so I'm gonna do that and then we'll come back in a minute um, but Kate's gonna talk to you about cloudy resin so also you might find, especially with our fillet resin, that when you pour the runny resin, after you've decrystallized it, if you need to, when you're pouring, you'll notice that it looks milky. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of milky. And what you have to do is keep on stirring through the milkiness. You can kind of see the resin and the hardener together starting to combine. And we're scraping the bottom of our cup, the sides of our cup, and stirring, 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 nice and slowly for three minutes. And if I keep doing this while we talk, you'll see it becomes perfectly crystal clear. Yeah. So with the crystallised resin, we quite often get uh, people will phone in and say, um, oh, my resin's crystallised. And we say, well, where do you keep it? Oh, I keep it in the shed. Well, that's unless, unless your shed is a sauna, um, it definitely isn't a good idea to keep resin no. in the shed. Or the garage, anywhere where it's going to go beneath about 18, 18 degrees is a no-no for resin. Yeah. So, especially the part A of the resin. Um, we didn't say, which is quite important, that you never need to warm up the part B. It's no. only ever part A. Yeah, absolutely. Your, your hardeners won't crystallize. Um, it's just the resin. The resin is just, it's completely normal. Um, but once you have warmed it up, the properties will return back to normal, it'll be nice and runny, and it's really important to say that your properties are not affected in any way. You don't need to worry about it. If anything, you're improving the properties because you've warmed it up. Yep. Um, a bigger bottle, you're going to need to leave it in hot water for much longer than 20 minutes. If you could decanter it into a smaller bottle, which is tricky if it's crystallised into a solid lump, um, yeah, you just need to warm it up. Don't panic about it. And there we go. So as we've been talking, I've been stirring three minutes. You can see there's just a tiny bit left to go, but the milkiness has gone and the resin is crystal clear and ready to use. Perfect. So that's how you sort out crystallised resin and milky resin. Thank you. Bye.